Hi, Papa. Oh, son, it's so good to see your beautiful smile. I missed you so much. How are you? Oh, I've been fine. Really, though? How have you been? The pandemic was really hard for me. Huh. People rarely ask me that. I've been okay. Lonely, bored. But I guess there's been a lot of positive things too. I've been reading. I've had more time to do things that I enjoy. It's kind of like I got to know another side of myself because the world slowed down. That's a cool way of looking at things. Yeah, I actually read a book about mental health. I never learned about this stuff growing up. I mean, mental health wasn't even in our vocabulary back then. Wait, what do you mean by mental health? Mental health is a way of coping. I think it has been hard for me because I am more isolated from people. I am not as engaged. Not being able to see you all. I think that it had a negative impact on how I was coping with everything going on in the world. Oh, wow. What can I do, Papa? I don't want you to feel that way. Thanks for asking. That's very grown up of you. Honestly, you can support me by just listening, being here with me, like you are doing right now. Maybe you can also teach me some stuff online. Getting young people like you to help my generation navigate with this uh, virtual stuff. I'll do that. Yes! I know there's classes on YouTube. Can I show you that? That would be great. Can you also show me how to do Zoom? I want to participate in church. I miss that fellowship and support. The people in the church, my neighbors, my friends. It feels good to just talk to them. I like that everybody gives their opinions and supports. Stuff like that. That's what I want right now. Yeah, I'd be excited to help you with Zoom. It's great to see people connecting with their family and friends. Connecting with your church on Zoom is one way to take care of yourself, but there are more ways than this to practice self-care. Self-care is a habit or routine of doing things that make you happy and take care of your mind and body. Different activities work for different people. It can be taking a walk or taking a nap. It can be a hobby, like playing board games or knitting. You can take time and space alone, or you can reach out to local senior centers, libraries, or religious centers. They may have book clubs, Sudoku, or crossword puzzles to keep you engaged. Self-care can be simple, small things. Be honest with yourself about what would be helpful for you and try to be clear with the people in your life about what you need. Older adults are typically less likely to reach out for professional help for a number of reasons. You may think or have been taught that asking for help shows weakness, but asking for help is actually a way to stay strong. There are free resources available to you, and if you want to try something new but don't know how, ask someone you know how to help you. Or you can find out more by calling the Administration for Community Living at 202-401-4634. For New York-specific resources and info, call the New York State Department for the Aging at 212-244-6469.